Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Let me show you a very cool project. On your screen, you see that this is a source video where we have this bottle on a tabletop. And then we have this prompt where we are saying a rocket lifts off from the table and smoke erupts from its bottom. And then this is a rocket. This is just a source image. Now, when we give it this tracking video, which you can see here, let me also run it. This is just a tracking video, which this project also generates from this video coupled with that prompt, which we have given it. And then it generates a video out of it. So let me run this by clicking on generate video. And this is a generated video. Let me play it. see it all with AI so we have taken this reference video we have taken this reference image and we have primarily motion controlled this video by just tracking it this project is something called as this diffusion as shader which is a 3d aware project that is all open source that is all free and that is what i'm going to talk about in this video i will also be showing you how you can get it installed locally before i do that let me introduce you to our very good friends at that one.co who are sponsoring this video if you are looking to deploy a powerful ai models quickly affordably and hassle-free you can check out that one.co it offers lightning fast serverless ai models hosting with minimal cold start delays as low as 15 to 20 seconds for huge models up to 70 gig that one.co lets developers launch large-scale ai seamlessly without worrying about hardware and i will drop the link in video description coming back to this project so this diffusion as shader or das in short is a model that uses diffusion methods specifically designed for controlled video generation its key contribution is using 3d tracking videos as control signals as you can see in this example images from their github repo this enables comprehensive and flexible manipulation of video content as we just saw it addresses limitations of previous models, which often rely solely on 2D signals and struggle with consistent temporal coherence and multiple diverse control tasks. It has got a unified architecture. It lets you uh, have temporal consistency that improves coherence across frames due to the inherent 3D representation and linkage information from 3D tracking videos. And the fun part is that this whole model was just trained for three days on only eight nvidia 800 gpus and fewer than 10,000 example videos that's about it so let me show you how you can get it installed locally and play around with it so first step which we need to do is to git clone the repo and as i said i will drop the link to it in video's description and once that is done we need to install all the requirements from the root of the repo and for that just run this pip requirements and it is going to install all the requirements and that is all about it in terms of installation in order to run it just simply run this command and gpu0 means it is using my local gpu and maybe this is the time when i quickly show you my gpu configuration so this is what I'm using NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM and it requires around 32 gig of VRAM in total to run. So make sure you have that much if you are following along. By the way, this GPU is sponsored by our very good friend at Mass Compute. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs okay so let's go back and run that command so i'm just going to start the application and you can see that it is now running at our local host at port 7860 and the first time when you run it it is also going to take a bit of a time and load the models and then you can just access it on your local host at port 7860 and it is running there first up you would need to upload the source so let me upload a source here maybe i'll just go with this sample bottle video which i just showed you earlier 
and then this is where you need to give it the prompt so i'm just going to use the same prompt because that is what uh, tracking does and then i'm just going to go with motion control you can do camera control object manipulation but i think that requires more uh, vram and that is still work in progress as far as i have tested anyway so and then uh, they highly recommend to also upload a repaint image so that you could they could use it as a reference there you go uh, and then once that's done you can simply go up and then click on generate tracking it is going to generate the tracking so let's wait now this generate tracking takes like three to four minutes so meanwhile let's talk a bit more about this model now one thing um, i wanted to mention is that you can also have mesh to video generation which we just saw, saw the tracking i mean and then from there you can also adjust viewpoint zoom pan and other camera parameters within the videos it just ignore this this is my local system and then you can also have um, you know object manipulation where you can add remove or reposition objects smoothly across video frames and meanwhile you can see that it has generated this tracking video here so let me play it again for you this is the one we saw earlier and then now in order to generate the resultant video you can click on generate video and that is going to take a bit of a time again so let's wait for it and after a while it has generated this video so you can play it and you can see the same magic happening again there you go so pretty good now there are few limitations around this project which you need to be aware of because your images have to be in a very good quality and then uh, you would also need to make sure that your video is also in a good quality the aspect ratio is uh, compliant and also if you are interested in learning more about their project they have a separate project page as you can see here and they have shared various uh, examples in different poses where there are different rendering styles with different geometry and appearances they have even used a flux model you can also see examples of this camera control plus this is what really is cool which we also saw a bit where they are using this mo uh, movement or motion control from left to right or up or down in various phases this is a spiral one this is also quite interesting and this is a motion transfer i was not able to really work it properly i think they also still have some bugs it's a very new project anyway i'm quite impressed by the project let me know what do you think about it i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching